All right, so it has come to my attention that people feel that I only review older movies if I like the movie. So I figured, hey, why not review this movie? Here we go. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. You gotta admit, when this popped up in your subscription box, you were like, why is that happening? So the Super Mario Brothers movie is based off of the Super Mario Brothers game, kind of, but not really at all. It stars Bob Hoskins as a pretty legit looking Mario, John Leguizamo as Luigi somehow, and they all go into another world. Is it the Mushroom Kingdom from Super Mario Brothers? No, not really, although it's referenced as the Mushroom Kingdom once. It's a place called Dino Hatton, because what happened in the Super Mario Brothers movie is 65 million years ago, a meteor hits the earth and the dinosaurs get wiped out. Only they don't get wiped out. The meteor is like fragmented reality, and so the dinosaurs all lived in a parallel dimension where they evolve into intelligent beings like us and they even evolved into mammals somehow because they have hair like full heads of hair they look exactly like us it makes little to no sense in fact it makes no sense yeah because you know instead of having something really out there like a couple of plumbers go through a pipe and end up in the mushroom kingdom they have to do something a little more realistic and relatable like a meteor splitting the world into two halves and dinosaurs evolving into intelligent human beings we got dennis hopper playing king koopa he's more commonly known as bowser but back in the day, you know, early 90s and 80s, he was called King Koopa or Bowser. Both names, same guy. I, you know, Dennis Hopper's great and all. This is not his shining moment. I'm pretty sure this is not what we want to remember him by. And I gotta assume someone was like, hey, you want to play the bad guy in a Super Mario movie? He was like, cool, what do I gotta do? And they were like, nothing, you just gotta wear a suit and have your head look like an inside out opened orange. And boom, you're the bad guy in a Mario movie. Other than the script being terrible, the acting is absolutely abysmal too. I'll give credit to a couple of people for giving it their all in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Dennis Hopper and Bob Hopper Hoskins really did the best job humanly possible with this material. Everyone else, John Leguizamo, nope. Samantha Mathis, <laughs> you're lucky you're cute. They could not have made a movie that was farther from Super Mario Brothers if they really tried. For instance, you have Toad. Toad, you know, he's an iconic Mario character. Let's make Toad a 40 year old band hippie. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. I don't know how pre-production in this movie went, but I gotta assume something happened like someone wrote a script that was so bizarre. Like, you know, dinosaurs and other dimensions and everything sparks when you drive it. Every vehicle just shoots out sparks. A really shitty looking city in a desert. I'm just saying it was just, it was weird. So I gotta believe the studio saw the script and they were like, we, no one's gonna watch this piece of shit movie, but if we throw in some Super Mario Brothers elements and then call it Super Mario Brothers, maybe they will? They didn't, but I gotta assume that's how it went down. This is really what the Super Mario Brothers movie's like. I'm not even kidding. You're gonna think I'm kidding and trying to get laughs. I'm not. It's like Michael Bay smoked a lot of weed, licked a lot of toads and dropped a lot of acid. And among him tripping all sorts of balls was like, hey, I want to make a movie that's like a mix between Super Mario Brothers and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. But more Thunderdome elements than Mario elements. It's really important. We gotta have Thunderdome because things gotta explode. Useless explosions. Cars are always hitting each other. Shit's always flipping. You're just watching it going, oh, the studio's gotta be so pissed that this money is just gone now. You just hear the dollar signs racking up as things explode and you're like, that's that money could have gone anywhere else in the world. Like, shit doesn't make sense. I'm gonna spoil this, but this is at the very beginning of the movie. And if you really care about spoilers from the Super Mario Brothers movie, honestly, I'm being honest with you right here. This is real. See this? Real. It doesn't matter. Daisy's mom dies in this cave. 20 years later, scientists are like digging up the bones. Couple things about that. One, she's, her snout still looks like a dinosaur, but she didn't look like a dinosaur. Does she suddenly look like a dinosaur when she dies? Second of all, can the paleontologist not tell that these bones are from 20 years ago? I gotta know this, because someone needs to be fired at that point. I realize it's made for kids because it has all the little wonky sound effects. You know, when something gets hit, it's all dang. And aiming for the kid demographic is absolutely solidified when someone gets hit from this Devo gun, otherwise known as a painted black Super Scope 6, and they de-evolve into an ape, and everyone's like, ha ah! ha! laughing because the dude's like you know a dick in the movie like they're really laughing i'd be like holy shit like it's the monkey now the, the, the super scope six shot the guy he's a monkey give koopa the world give him the world i don't want to be a monkey why are you laughing but if you want something productive to have come from the super mario brothers movie take heart knowing that the actors fidgeting with the little painted up super scope sixes probably accounts for 50 percent of the use that the super scope six ever got in its life it's like the power glove bazooka right there do you think the people who wrote the super mario brothers script stepped back after it was done were like, you know what? This is the greatest thing to come out of Hollywood since the Immortals being from the planet 
Zeist in Highlander 2. Like, why don't they make a Super Mario Brothers movie how a Super Mario Brothers movie should be made? You know, like Disney or Pixar pick up the rise and just make a CGI movie. CGI animation, something that works for Super Mario Brothers. It could be really solid, really good. We won't be stuck with this being the Super Mario Brothers movie that happened. It is not right to call this Super Mario Brothers. It's nothing like Super Mario Brothers. But in a weird way, I think this movie could be a good time if I was trashed. Yeah, now it's a pun- oh colors. There's an element of me that thinks that if I were smashed, I would enjoy it. You know, in that way that you use this movie to like torment your friends. Like my friends are all sitting in a room or all having a party or hanging out or something like that. I can just pop in Mario Brothers movie and be like, ha ha, you're all gonna hate this shit. In the course of my life and my time on YouTube, I've seen a lot of shit movies. I'm like the Dread Pirate Roberts. I've built an immunity to horrible movies, but you guys, you're probably gonna die. So what video game would you like to see be made into a movie? What is it? Whatever it is, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.